everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. I have to put videos on here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that this week. Yeah! Uh, this is now my third time filming it because I didn't like the way the first two came out. So let's get right to it. Uh, Maxie and Nathan. So Nathan tells Maxie what Franco's scheme was and that he went along with it and even she thinks it was a horrible idea and that should tell you something and she says next time he needs to go scheming he should do it with her and they're just so adorable and the whole scene was just really really cute and I can't get enough of them and I'm so glad they're back together. At the floating rib, I mispronounced that my last time around. Um, Kiki and Silas finish up their conversation and Silas tells her to look out for herself and be careful because, you know, she doesn't know who Denise is and, you know, don't, don't get hurt. Well, you know, don't, whatever, you know what I mean. And so, then after Kiki leaves, Silas and Nina are talking and Franco walks in and says that he'll leave her alone if he can have his ELQ shares. And she's like, haha, funny story, I sold your shares. And Rosalie and Michael have them and... Uh, Franco is livid. Like, I can't even tell you how livid he is. So he's like, well, then give me my half of the money. And she's like, oh, sorry, I spent that on your half of the hotel bill. And then the other money I put in my bank with no cosigner. So, sorry, not sorry. And he's just seething with anger. The rage of a thousand suns, as I sometimes say. So after he leaves, or storms out, it was really more storming. Uh, Nina thanks Silas again for believing in her because he, she thinks he's the only one who does. At the Jerome's, <sighs> Denise and Morgan are continuing their makeout session. And I'm like, are the two of you serious right now? Like, really? And Morgan and Denise are making out. And she says, Morgan, I missed you so much. And he pulls back and is like, what now? So then she makes up this whole big thing about how she hasn't been with anyone in a really long time. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't know how he believed that because I don't know what self-respecting person believes that. Like, it was so obviously a lie. But anyway, Kiki comes back and they talk about Michael, Av Michael and Avery. And Morgan says, oh yeah, I think he's mellowed out since he found out you and me were officially together and blah, 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 blah. And De Denise is like, what now? You two were together? Like, huh? And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Get on the, the train to knowledge, Denise. So they all have that awkward, we're together now conversation. When did it happen? Right before you came here. Da, 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 da. Uh, and then Kiki goes to get a menu so they can order in. And then De Denise is really mad at Morgan. And she's like, really, Morgan, what do you have to say for yourself? And Morgan's like, I don't know. He makes up excuses about how he, she just looks so much like Ava. And he got caught up in the moment. And nothing is ever his fault. Just call him Teflon instead of Morgan. And uh, Denise and Morgan agree, no telling Kiki what happened, and nothing more can happen between them. Can't wait to see how that plan works out. So at the quarter mains, Michael and Sabrina talk, and Sabrina mentions how she doesn't think Rosalie is trustworthy, and Franco breaks in and demands that Michael give him his money, and Michael's like, what are you talking about? Nina turned down the money. And now Franco's extremely angry because he thinks Nina lied to him about the money, so Michael talks to Sabrina and is like, well, obviously Nina lied to Franco. And Sabrina's like, yeah, but well, consider this. What if Rosalie lied to you? And now we'll see where that goes. And um, not going to go anywhere good, I think. I think Rosalie's going to be found out very, very fast. Um, at Windermere, Nicholas and Rosalie, speaking of Rosalie, conspire about how to get over 50% of ELQ since they only need 6 more percent. And Nicholas says that the easiest way to do that would be to get Dylan Quartermain's 11%. And since Dylan just happens to be in town, and Rosalie's like, well, how are you going to do that? And Nicholas is like, uh, I, he, I was like, I was like, whoa, Nicholas, you're really going to exploit Lulu and Dylan's relationship because he says he's going to, like, work through Lulu. And then I'm like, maybe exploit is a little too rough of a word. But then at the end, he literally says, I have to figure out how to exploit their relationship. So I don't feel as bad now. Speaking of feeling bad, at the Haunted Star, um, Luke is not even getting any slack from Lulu, and Dylan is standing up for his mother, and Tracy is just so angry because I think she's just so, so upset. And Laura says that her closure and Luke being someone from her past is over because the secret has always been between them, and now that the secret's gone, um, she wants to, them to get back together because when he said our house was a prison, he really meant his childhood house and not our house together, and da 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 And I'm like, whatever. Um... 
I'm not buying it. <laughs> so Luke tells Tracy that he took Laura back, and I'm like, I, don't, I think there's something else going on here because it's, like, it's never just that. And Luke, I mean, <laughs> Dylan is being really aggressive towards Luke to the point where he had to be held back, and Tracy says that she's absolutely done with Luke and lays into him hard. And, like, I was always a Luke and Tracy fan, so this should be telling. Like, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I mean, she, she took no mercy. She took no prisoners. She just, oh, oh my God, it was amazing. She's like, you know, I, I hope, you know, she's going to, this Laura, she's going to get sick of you. She's going to run to Scott. She's going to do something. And then I hope you come begging to come back to me so I can turn you down and turn you away. And I'm like, oh, preach, Tracy, preach. Like, amazing. So then after Tracy leaves, Dylan lays into Luke really hard, like, mother like son. I had to make sure I did that in the right order. And Lulu's really, really mad at Luke and scolded him for humiliating Tracy at her own engagement party. And then Luke and Laura have this kind of ominous exchange at the end where he says we did what we had to do no matter what the cost. Which me leads me to believe that I was right, that this isn't just about them getting back together and that there's something on the horizon. And then Tracy and Dylan return back to the Quartermain Mansion, and Tracy's so upset, she doesn't even think she can walk up the stairs. It's some kind of metaphorical thing. I don't know. Somebody deeper than me, you can comment in the comments. And um, Dylan comes to talk to her, and she's in a lot of pain, and she's like, what, are you going to tell me I so told you so? And he's like, no, you're the strongest woman I know. And the whole thing was just really, really touching. And, like, I don't really, I don't know Dylan. This is my first time seeing him on the show. Well, you know. You know what I mean. Um, but if anyone who knows him wants to comment, like, was that even more touching for you? I don't know. I'm just trying to prompts, picture prompts for the comments. Um, and then Lulu comes to the house, and Dylan's still very defensive of Tracy. Tracy has now made it up the stairs. And it'll be interesting to see where this all goes from there. Definitely. Um, and Dylan says he doesn't blame her. Like, obviously, he puts all the blame on her parents and doesn't blame her for anything. So uh, I'm really glad I recorded this a third time because this is, like, 50 billion times better than the first time. And I... W oh, someone wants to play Yahtzee with me. Um, if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope you have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. Bye!